Trump and I have a very different value set of it and obvious already. Two nights ago, we all heard Crooked Joe's angry, dark, hate-filled rant. Didn't it bring us together? Remember, he said, I'm going to bring the country to, 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 together. I'm going to bring it together. But we all know Donald Trump sees a different America, an American story of resentment, revenge, and retribution. That's not me. That's not you. Now, watch these uh, criminals back there, the press. Look at them. Look at how many of them. That's a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Yesterday, he was hosting at his club, Victor Orban, who says he doesn't think democracy works. Call him a fantastic leader. I had dinner last night with a great gentleman from Hungary, Prime Minister of Hungary, Viktor Orban. Very, very tough. Some people don't like him because he's very tough. Instead of celebrating the contribution of immigrants to our country, to our economy and our communities, Donald Trump calls them vermin, poison the blood of, poisoning the blood of America. No one should ever doubt where my heart is. I will end the agony of our people, the plunder of our cities, the sacking of our towns, the violation of our citizens, and the conquest of our country. They're conquering our country. These people are conquering our country. They're horrible people. Wow. <laughs> just wow. Like, why don't you just stand up and say, I want to lose? And Why don't you just stand up? You you mock a guy stuttering. You 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 say this ridiculous. Thing. I will end the agony of people. The second of our agony. town. The second of our town. Let me just say again. Let me just say again. If you talk to small business owners, if you talk to people that own small businesses, restaurants. Did you see the new unemployment numbers? I mean, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, you, 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 you talk out. to people that, that that run hardware stores on Main Street. They'll tell you, you know, we can use some more workers yeah. because we're, you know, unemployment's lower than it's been in in 50 years now. So the the agony of our people, unemployment lower than it's been in like 50, 60 years. Um, the sacking of our towns. I'm not exactly sure. Crime near a 50 year low, despite some problems because of liberal DAs and, and some judges that are too liberal that won't do what they're supposed to do when when uh, repeat offenders keep coming in. But, you know, that's the exception. That's not the rule. This country's doing great. It's more hatred. Donald Trump hates America. Ooh. If he's not president, Donald Trump hates America. And the praising of Orban, here's a guy again who hates democracy, who loves illiberalism, and he says it, and Donald Trump says it. So, yeah, that's just... It's idiotic, but the contrast, Mika, wow. could not be greater. It was incredible. Jonathan Lemire, Katty Kay, still with us. And joining the conversation, we have Chief White House Correspondent for the New York Times, Peter Baker, and White House reporter at the Washington Post, Tyler Pager. His latest reporting is on those dueling Trump and Biden rallies in Georgia over the weekend, just 70 miles apart. But in terms of tone and in terms of outlook, Thousands of miles apart. I mean, Tyler, you, you, you're reporting on the on the two rallies. I mean, the thing that every politician wants is a good, clear contrast. That's what campaigns are about. And if you can contrast between yourself and your opponent, you're in really good shape. I've got to say, Donald Trump and the freak show that was on on the floor. This is me talking, not you as a reporter, on State of the Union night. For a lot of people, I would guess in the Biden campaign. It's lining up pretty nice. That is quite a contrast. Donald Trump, for some bizarre reason, moving into the general election, telling Romney Republicans, we don't want you. Telling Nikki Haley Republicans, you're traitors. We don't want you. He's actually, he's boiling down the support instead of, it, instead of expanding it. I've got to believe the Biden campaign likes how this campaign's lining up. Yeah, after a lot of months of anxiety about Biden's launch and the early months of his campaign, the last few days at the White House and the Biden campaign in Wilmington, Delaware, have gone just according to plan. And we saw uh, the reporting that the Biden campaign raised uh, $10 million in the aftermath of the State of the Union. And so they're quite thrilled with exactly what you're saying, Joe, that contrast. You know, they started with that State of the Union address where Biden performed surpassing Democrats' expectations 
elections. I, I spoke to one voter at his, Philadelphia, uh, his event outside Philadelphia who was so nervous about Biden's speech that she did not watch it in real time, worried that he would have a gaffe or stumble. She read the news reports the next day and was quite pleased to see the president did well. So it started there and has continued through the weekend. I was then in Atlanta with him where he gave a very tight 20-minute speech, largely sticking to the same script that he delivered at the State of the Union, but sharpening those attacks against Trump. And, and that's what the, the Biden campaign wants. They want this to be an election of, of a binary choice between Trump and Biden. And so they feel that the, the contrast is, you know, as you said, 70 miles apart, but miles uh, much, much further apart in terms of message and tone. I think we'll continue to see Biden deliver that same sort of message as he goes to New Hampshire today and then Michigan and Wisconsin later in the week. But, but Joe, you're exactly right. Uh, a, a lot of uh, relief uh, and, and excitement in the Biden camp and also uh, among the donor class and voters who were quite anxious as we saw a series of polls show Biden trailing. Obviously, it's too early yeah. to see any sort of uh, movement yet on the poll polling front. But I know there will be a lot of, of anxious Democrats waiting to see uh, how much the, the ball has moved after <laughs> a successful few days. And